The man asked, Have you decided? Shall we go? We have. Take it away. Never return here again, the two men replied in unison. Hearing the commotion outside, people curiously emerged from their tents. What's happening? Seems like another child is being sold. Sai, in this era, eating one meal is the most important thing. Zhang Sheng, in agony, covered his face with his hand. He saw the father holding a bundle, while the cart slowly drove away. Don't blame my father's cruelty. With my sister still with us, she'll just starve to death. Let's go. The food here can sustain us for a few months. Zhang Sheng pushed his father aside angrily. Step aside. I won't eat food exchange for my sister. The bundle in his father's hand fell, and the food inside spilled out. The refugees were astonished at the sight of the food. Hey, there's so much food. It's been so long since we've had anything like this. His father quickly gathered the food back into the bag. What are you looking at? Go back to your places. Zhang Sheng hastily chased after the cart. In an incessant mutter, he said, Little sister, oh little sister, please, don't do this. Let me take you home. You don't know what strength you showed that day when you helped me. I chased after that cart for so long so long, but in the end, I couldn't catch up. I collapsed from exhaustion on the ground, and didn't return until the second day. Looking back, I realize how lucky I was. If I had encountered zombies on the way, I might never have seen my little sister again. After that, what happened to my father and me? How we found my sister? That's a story for another time. But after that night when she was taken away, my father was killed in the tent by someone who must have known he had food. They probably conspired to rob him. Because of my father's unintentional act, I lost two loved ones in one night, becoming an orphan with no family. I could only wander around until I encountered a mercenary group specialized in hunting zombies. They saw my size and strength and allowed me to join. It was there that I learned the Iron Sand Palm. Years later, the mercenary group transitioned into a company for seasonal harvest and turned into an inventory team now. Even then, I hadn't forgotten about my little sister. I searched everywhere for news of her but finding someone in the apocalypse is like finding a needle in a haystack. Until that day, Zhang Sheng and a squad leader were walking down the road when they saw a woman in tattered clothes sitting on the sidewalk. The stench emanating from them made passersby veer away. The woman kept pleading, Please, everyone, save me and my two children. Please give me some food. We haven't eaten for days. The man walking beside Zhang Sheng held his nose. I feel like I smell the stench of death. Looks like this mother and her children are barely hanging on. Zhang Shen's expression turned sympathetic as he looked down. If my sister is still alive, she might be around this girl's age. I wonder how she's doing now. Seeing Zhang Shen move away, the other man quickly grabbed his arm. Hey, Zhang Shen, what are you doing? My captain wants to give them some snacks, you fool. What you have there is your life exchange for food. Even if you save them for a moment, you won't save them for a lifetime. What's the point? How many people survive in the apocalypse? Save as much food as you can. If you don't, what will your sister eat when you find her? The captain is right. Let it go. This bag of snacks can make for a joyful night in the red light district. Think about it. Are you foolish or not? The woman sadly stroked her daughter's face. My dear, your mother isn't good. I couldn't protect you. Letting you go hungry for so long. I can't endure it any longer. You have to try, my dear you still haven't found your relatives. I'm useless, letting you suffer. Zhang Sheng quickly interjected, Mayam, I heard you mention that your daughter isn't your biological child, right? How did you get this child in exchange for food? I have a younger sister, who has been missing for years, traded for food by someone. Upon closer look, she really resembles my sister. Could this girl actually be my sister? The woman held her daughter protectively and asked, Who are you? Don't you dare play tricks with my darling. Don't be afraid, dear. She's not a bad person. The squad leader, suspicious, asked, Zhang Sheng, you fool. What are you doing? If you think this girl is your sister, you need to provide evidence, don't you? Zhang Sheng, still a bit agitated from earlier, had forgotten. But upon the squad leader's reminder, he exclaimed, Right, I always keep a picture of my sister in my wallet. Mom, please take a look. Is this girl your daughter? Does she resemble the picture of your daughter when she was young? Truly resembling my darling? Do you remember where your sister was taken? Of course I remember. She was taken from the West Street People's Concentration Zone before. 
It seems you truly are her family. Zhang Cheng, quickly take them to the company to help with the bloodline identification. Bring her back here, the squad leader instructed. The woman trembled with a relieved smile. This is wonderful. Finally, someone will take care of my darling. Finally, I can rest peacefully. Seeing the woman in distress, the two men inquired, Ma'am, what's wrong? Is there something bothering you? The woman, too weak to respond, collapsed to the ground. She has endured for so long until I appeared. Reassuring her, only then did she leave at ease. She truly considers my sister as her own daughter. I'm deeply grateful to her. If not for her, I wouldn't have found my sister. Wang Bo smiled. It may sound a bit fanciful, but it truly warms the heart. Indeed, who would have thought that fate would reunite my siblings? My sister was quite introverted back then, and she didn't seem to have much impression of me, her elder brother. I took meticulous care of her every day, and she gradually became more outgoing. I helped her recover so she could defend herself. I taught her many survival skills for the apocalypse, and she excelled at them. So I allowed her to join the inventory team, accompanying me on her journey. Eventually, we may find a safer base to live in. Fake has been kind to me. I found my long-lost sister whom I always yearned for. I must protect her, even at the cost of my own life. Rest assured, with me by your side, we will surely find your sister. Wang Bo, I owe you an apology from before. I never expected you to repay my kindness with such gratitude. You truly are the person I respect the most in this apocalypse. Wang Bo bashfully waved his hand. You're making me blush, ha 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 ha. Deep in his heart, Wang Bo felt touched. It's been a while. His sister was timid but kind-hearted, which truly saddened him. The water is boiling now. Let's cook some noodles. We must make the most of our time, eating only noodles until we find his sister. I'll treat you to a meal once we find her. Zhang Shen was astonished to see what Wang Bo was holding in his hand. Well, I'll be damned. Am I seeing this right, Wang Bo? Do you actually have instant noodles? And it's beef noodle soup with vegetables. Wang Bo felt a bit sheepish. Could it be that even in the apocalypse, instant noodles are considered a luxury? I've been quite modest, you know. This packet of noodles could be traded for a private jet. Wang Bo suddenly remembered. He always forgets that this is the world of the future. He chuckled deceptively. Ha 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 ha, you're exaggerating. This is something I found somewhere before. We rarely get a chance to turn enemies into friends, so of course I had to treat you with something nice. Zhang Sheng felt touched. Treat, treating me. Ha. Huh. Wang Bo, you truly are the best person I've ever met. Wang Bo dropped the noodles into the pot and said, All right then, let's use noodles instead of wine. After we finish eating this bowl of noodles, we'll be good buddies. Instant noodles alone aren't enough. Sausages are the soul. Seeing the sausages in Wang Bo's hand, Zhang Sheng couldn't help but exclaim, Oh no, how could I have accidentally offended such a great deity before? Luckily, you're magnanimous and don't hold grudges. Wang Bo cut the sausages into pieces and added them to the pot. Sausages and instant noodles. Truly the perfect match, finally adding some flavor to our lives. Wang Bo then scooped noodles onto each person's bowl. Mom, this flavor is just right. All right. Hurry up and try it. Here are the chopsticks. Hmm, I'll go ahead and have some. After tasting the first few strands of noodles, Zhang Sheng, excitedly snapping the chopsticks in half, exclaimed, So delicious. It's been so long since I've had such fragrant noodles. I'm sorry for my rudeness. I don't know why tears are falling. Wang Bo replied, It's okay. But Zhang Sheng, those chopsticks are broken now. Sorry, it was unintentional. No worries, just use your hands. The next morning, atop a building, someone was using binoculars to look around. Lately, it seems we haven't spotted those spider zombies. Can we go outside yet? Zhang Shen responded, Let's wait another two days. I feel like they're still nearby. At this moment, a team member clutched their stomach and walked up, prompting Zhang Shen to ask, What's wrong? Are you having stomach pain? I've told you not to eat expired stuff anymore but you never listen. This will lead to death. I've said it before, I'd rather die than let those spiders eat me. You just ignore me. I'm going to sleep. Hey, why are you talking like that to the deputy? There's no one superior here now. Don't play this game with me. This guy will regret it when he comes back. Zhang Shen continued, stop arguing 
Everyone. There are only three of us left in the team. We don't know if we can escape. Deputy, don't lose hope. Let me observe the situation outside. There might be a chance to escape. The person said, lifting the binoculars again to observe. Suddenly, he saw a small figure on the street below. The tiny figure walked towards a pile of food wrappers, sat down, and rummaged through them. Deputy, look quickly. There's a child on the street. Zhang Shen was astonished. What? How is that possible? Let me see. It seems true. It looks like he's searching for food. What's going on? How could there be a lucky child surviving here? Zhang Shen thought to himself, how can someone be scavenging for food when there are no zombies around? Such strong vitality. She then remembered her own wandering past. No, leaving him outside means death. Wait here. I'll go out. The other two were stunned. What are you going to do? Deputy, do you want to rescue him? With brown hair flying. What's with the joke? If I lure zombies here, we'll all be finished. Don't worry. If that happens, I'll die outside. You shouldn't get involved. The person with the green hat was about to chase after her, but was stopped by the one with brown hair. Hey, are you crazy like her? What if those spider zombies are nearby? The person with the green hat angrily pushed away the other's hand. Don't pull me. Get lost. Do you think everyone is as brave as you? Coward. The one with brown hair quickly shouted, I'm thinking for both of you. Outside on the street, the child was rummaging for food in the trash bin as the sound of approaching footsteps echoed. The girl jolted and turned around, only to see two human-faced spiders rushing towards her. Terrified, she screamed, help. One of the human-faced spiders shot its web at the girl's leg, immobilizing her foot. She fell to the ground. As the spider lunged forward, a bullet from afar struck its body. Zhang Shen shouted from the side, little one, come over here. The remaining spider noticed Zhang Shen, dodged his bullets, and rushed towards him, firing a few shots. Zhang Shen's gun ran out of bullets, and the spider leaped towards the girl. Suddenly, the person in the green hat ran over and swung an iron rod forcefully at the spider's body. Zhang Shen asked in surprise, Why did you come out here? You cover me. I'll go check on that kid. Zhang Shen walked over to the girl and asked, Are you okay, little one? The girl, with her back turned towards Zhang Shen, giggled, caught you caught you. The girl suddenly turned her head, and her mouth shot towards Zhang Shen. Zhang Shen's face paled, and with a thud, her wide-open mouth slammed straight into his face. At that moment, two bullets struck the girl's head. The person with brown hair scolded, Fool, I told you not to go down there, but you didn't listen. You got hit by the zombie's disguise. The person in the green hat rushed over to Zhang Shen in panic. Deputy, are you okay? Zhang Shen forcefully pushed away the mouth and panted, seeming to have avoided being bitten. The person with brown hair said, These creatures are getting smarter, knowing how to exploit human empathy. The person in the green hat asked with concern, Deputy, are you okay? No, I feel like this situation is not that simple. We need to retreat quickly. The person in the green hat pulled Zhang Shen's hand and ran off, when suddenly a spider leaped onto his back from behind. Zhang Shen and the person with brown hair looked over in horror. They're increasing in number day by day. These things are deliberately luring us out. They're truly intelligent, Zhang Shen remarked. At this point, the person in the green hat had been bitten on the neck by the spider, and he cried out in pain. Zhang Shen stabbed directly into the face of the creature on the spider's body. Then the girl helped the person in the green hat up, saying, Let's run. Sweat poured down the face of the person in the green hat as he struggled to speak. Deputy, everyone run. I'll stay back to block them. I've been bitten. I won't survive. You all still have a chance to escape. With that, he pushed Zhang Shen away. Zhang Shen exclaimed in shock. What are you doing? Hey, come back. Don't go over there. The person in the green hat aimed the gun at the spiders and fired, saying, You go quickly. Don't let my death be in vain. At least I'll protect my teammates before I die. Zhang Shen gasped, unable to find words, and she finally clenched her teeth, turned around, and said with a trembling voice, I understand, please be careful. The person in the green hat sighed deeply. I never expected that, in the end, I still couldn't confess to her. The spiders had now rushed towards the person in the green hat, biting and tearing at him, his screams echoing in Zhang Shen's ears. Zhang Shen didn't look back 
gritting her teeth as she ran. I must escape. I can't let her down. In her haste to flee, Zhang Shen accidentally stepped on a piece of wood with nails. She cried out in pain, bending down to remove the wood, her foot bleeding as she limped away. It hurts so much, I can't die here. I must run, absolutely cannot die here. As a spider lunged forward, Wang Bo swung his shovel and split it in half, leaving the two of them surrounded by the bodies of human-faced spiders. The further we go this way, the more spiders appear, indicating we're on the right path. The more dangerous it gets, the more cautious we must be, Wang Bo warned. At that moment, there was a loud explosion at the intersection behind them, and the ground beneath their feet cracked open, revealing a giant spider emerging from below. Zhang Sheng, seeing such a sight for the first time, couldn't help but curse. What the fuck? Another huge thing like that. The spider didn't utter a word as it attacked, sending Zhang Sheng flying. Wang Bo shouted anxiously. Watch out! Zhang Sheng yelled back, Worry about me. Wang Bo immediately used his zombie brainwave signal on the giant spider, instantly connecting his consciousness with the spider queen. Wang Bo smirked. So you really can empathize with your pets? The spider queen replied. This time, it's not empathizing anymore. I can only share vision, thoughts, and hearing with my offspring. Do you really dare to come here looking for me? Not afraid I'll eat you. If I were afraid, I wouldn't have come. Actually, I want to negotiate with you. We have a group in your territory, under your control, right? So, you came to demand them from me. That's right, I want to trade myself for them. Ha 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 ha, sounds not bad, huh? But you're too late, those people have all been eaten by me. What, eaten them all? Then, have you eaten a girl? A girl, huh? So, you came looking for a girl. From behind, Zhang Sheng looked at Wang Bo standing still, staring at the giant spider unable to hide his astonishment. Doesn't that monster attack Wang Bo? What's Wang Bo doing? Wang Bo shook his head. No, I've already mentally prepared her for death. He he, have you mentally prepared yourself to become my food? I'll eat you just like in that dream, slowly digesting you. Upon hearing this, Wang Bo couldn't help but startle. In a dream? Are you saying that dream was real? Eating? You must be dreaming. The spider roared and charged towards Wang Bo. Zhang Shen exclaimed inwardly, Oh, this guy's gone crazy. He truly isn't being controlled by Wang Bo this time. Wang Bo was just lucky last time. But the next scene left Zhang Shen bewildered. What's going on? This monster just committed suicide. Wang Bo calmly turned around and said, All right, it's taken care of. Let's go. Zhang Shen stared at Wang Bo incredulously, asking, How can you stay calm? Didn't you see it commit suicide? Wang Bo sighed deeply. How should I explain his sister's situation now? Forget about these things. Let's hurry to rescue your sister. Afterward, I have to report this incident. It's too bizarre. Wang Bo, do you really have superpowers? Wang Bo was speechless at Zhang Sheng's words. Why you talk so much? Forget about it. Our system wants to buy a bunch of explosives. Seeing Wang Bo walk away, Zhang Sheng hurriedly followed. Wang Bo, wait for me. At night, Zhang Sheng staggered with each heavy step, feeling exhausted. My head is spinning. I can hardly walk anymore. Zhang Sheng was now too tired to continue, so she had to sit down on the ground to rest. It seems like I'm going to die here. I wonder if he'll be sad. I really want to see him again. At that moment, in Zhang Sheng's blurry vision, a figure appeared, and she thought it was her brother coming to rescue her, feeling overjoyed. The brown-haired figure squatted in front of Zhang Sheng surprising him. I thought you were dead. I didn't expect you to escape. Hearing the voice of the brown-haired person, Zhang Xin's face turned disappointed. Hey, can you stand up? This place is infested with spiders. We'll get caught. I can't use my strength anymore. Hearing Zhang Xin's weak voice, the brown-haired person suddenly burst into laughter. Ha ha ha, serves you right. I told you not to play hero. This time, you're done for. The thing that harms your own people will self-destruct here. Zhang Shen pleaded with outstretched hands. Please, don't leave me behind. If I can get back, I'll do whatever you say. Oh well, your words remind me that even if I can't go back, you still have to rely on me now. The brown-haired person reached back to cover Zhang Shen's mouth. Just stay alive. Up until now, I'd never even kissed a girl. Compared to dying here, it's better to live. Sister, 
Let's find somewhere to survive. Zhang Shen's expression turned frantic. Please don't. I beg you. Right now, you don't even have the right to bargain with me. The brown-haired person quickly carried Zhang Shen into an apartment, laying her down on the bed. With a lascivious grin, the brown-haired person said, Heh heh, this place isn't so bad. Zhang Shen clutched the collar of the brown-haired person's shirt, pleading, Please, out of our past relationship, I never caused you any trouble. Spare me, let me go. Please, let go. The brown-haired girl unzipped Zhang Shen's jacket and sniffed. Even though you're sweating, you still smell good. He, let me take off your pants first. Zhang Shen tried to twist away, but accidentally fell to the ground, causing her whole body to ache. You still want to run, she said. The brown-haired girl approached and pulled back. I've never liked your siblings. I've always been scolded by your brother like a dog. Today, I'll take out my anger on you. She reached for Zhang Shen's pants, saying, Ha ha ha. Don't feel sorry for yourself, deputy captain. Let's have some fun. Zhang Shen trembled all over, crying and pleading. I'm sorry, please don't do this. As Zhang Shen tried to crawl away, the brown-haired girl grabbed her ankle, saying, Don't run away, come here. This is called pleasure and pain. While the brown-haired girl was still enjoying herself, something liquid fell on her head. She frowned, noticing that the ceiling was covered with human-faced spiders. One of the spiders shot a web at her face, startling her. Oh, why are there spiders everywhere? She exclaimed. Covering her face, she ran out of the room screaming for help. Outside on the balcony, six large eyes stared at her as a giant spider lurked. Zhang Shen struggled to stand up then saw the brown-haired girl rushing back inside. But the giant spider's claws struck her chest. Witnessing this horrifying scene, Zhang Shen panicked. It's over. We've been discovered. The spider quickly grabbed the brown-haired girl and pulled her into its mouth, while Zhang Shen was tightly wrapped by the spiders in the room. The spider king appeared atop the spider, and Zhang Shen, after being tightly wrapped, was pulled out. Who is this? Is it the zombie king? She asked. The Spider King inquired, Is she Wang Bo's woman? She looks adorable. No wonder he wants her. Zhang Shen was confused. What are you talking about? Who is Wang Bo? The approaching spiders were about to pounce on Zhang Shen when the Spider King laughed. No, she's my guest. Take her to the lair. We still have another guest to welcome. Zhang Shen thought to herself, I'm completely doomed this time. There's no way out. The next morning, Wang Bo rode a motorcycle with Zhang Sheng, riding behind, holding onto him tightly, leaving Wang Bo speechless. Zhang Sheng, does a grown man like me need to be afraid? He joked. Zhang Sheng's voice trembled. This is my first time on a motorcycle. I can't believe I'm not scared. Well, of course, I am. You're really the team leader, and I'm scared. Suddenly, the ground in front of them cracked open, and Zhang Sheng panicked, shouting, Oh, that big spider is back. No need to be so tense. Wang Bo stepped out of the motorcycle. Don't be afraid. Perhaps it's here to pick us up. Wang Bo began to form an alliance with that spider. Wang Bo, I have some good news for you. Would you like to hear it? Why do you want to speak, then decide to obediently lie still for me to finish off? You're truly cruel. Wanting to kill me like that, it's truly heartbreaking. What I want to tell you is that I have found the last survivor. And she's another girl. I don't know if she's the one you're looking for. If so, I'd be more than happy to let you exchange her. Wang Bo furrowed his brows. I haven't seen Zhang Sheng's sister either. How can we be sure it's her? But let's consider it hopeful. If he knows his sister is gone, it's already pitiful enough. He said, cut the nonsense. Don't harm her. I'll come right away. Tell your pet to lead the way. All right, I'll be waiting here for you. Zhang Sheng, let's go save your sister. This one will guide us. Zhang Sheng exclaimed, Really, will this thing really guide us to find my sister? After disconnecting from Wang Bo, the Spider Lord laughed loudly. Ha 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 ha, I knew he would be in a hurry. Wait to become fish in my bowl. After settling this, Wang Bo will come to the human base, go out, my strongest soldier. Below the blue water, a humanoid-faced centipede protruded and stood still, staring at the Spider Lord. After receiving the order, the humanoid-faced centipede roared once and then submerged below. At the same time, other spiders were also continuously pulling each other along. 
The Spider Lord exclaimed excitedly, Go, my people, go seize more resources, become stronger. Back at the 7th military base, inside the shooting range, a bullet hit target number 10. Xiao Yu was currently instructing Xiao Bao on shooting, cheerfully patting her head. Xiao Bao, well done, your skills are improving again. Wang Bo tasked us with practicing shooting and combat skills, so of course, we can't be lazy. Keep it up, and when we return, I'll ask Wang Bo to reward you with chicken drumsticks. At this moment, a hurried voice came over. When it's our turn to train, we want rewards too. We want head pats too. Wait a bit, if you don't train well, forget about rewards, I'll scold you. Over by Da Zhu, he and Miao Ru Yun were training martial arts for the soldiers. Da Zhu, extend the training by half an hour each day. Siling interjected. Xiao Liu, how's the training going? Reporting, Siling. Everything is going smoothly. With their guidance, the rookie's performance in all target categories has improved significantly. Da Zhu, though not as formidable as Wang Bo, is dedicated. He's doing a great job training the rookies. Excellent, it seems these rookies will be ready for combat soon. Upon hearing this, squad leader Liu was surprised. Combat? We haven't received any rescue mission orders lately, and even though it's peaceful now, we should always be prepared for combat, whenever it may arise. Mio Ru Yun approached and greeted, Siling with a sarcastic tone, said, Comrade Ru Yun, you've been working hard. I wanted to ask why the inventory team didn't send anyone for assistance. They've adamantly refused to care. But if three days pass, and Wang Bo still hasn't returned, I'll have to send for assistance. Don't worry, Officer Mio. You don't need to worry. Wang Bo is so capable. There shouldn't be any problem. I know his abilities. But don't know why I feel uneasy. Wang Bo is annoying. He should investigate the situation thoroughly and then return. Don't see a beauty and not want to return anymore. While Wang Bo was following the spider, he suddenly sneezed. Zhang Sheng teased. What's up? Someone's missing you. What do you think? Zhang Sheng asked. Where do you think this will lead us? Perhaps to their nest. I've already smelled something fishy. The system suddenly interjected. This zombie king seems tricky. What's up? Do you have any intel to share with me? No, but I can provide you with some specific analysis. The zombie king you're grappling with may be strong in hand-to-hand -hand combat with you, but its fighting capabilities are clearly inferior to the subsequent baby zombie king. The second zombie king you're dealing with, except for the ability to control zombies, also lacks the combat strength of the first zombie king. The area ruled by the first zombie king has few zombies. It can only fill its stomach with them while the second zombie king has the ability to provide all the food for the baby zombie king. The destructive power of the baby zombie king is formidable, perhaps because it has access to a large amount of food, so it can be concluded that the more people the zombie king consumes, the stronger its capabilities become. As you said, this current zombie king seems to want to challenge the heavens. The whole city is filled with the smell of blood. She's likely devoured all the people in this city. Players' reports are accurate. This zombie king has the power to destroy a city, and players are very likely to lose their lives. Don't try too hard. If you can't fight, then run. I didn't expect you to suggest running this time. It seems really dangerous this time. But running makes me lose my cool. While Wang Bo was conversing with the system, Zhang Sheng remarked, Wang Bo has stopped. Looks like we've arrived. The two were standing in front of a stadium, and Wang Bo's expression turned serious. Let's go inside and take a look. Upon entering, Zhang Sheng couldn't help but widen his eyes in shock. Spiders everywhere, with webs all around, it seems this place is their lair. At this moment, the swarm of baby spiders began to surround them. They're all coming out now. Let's take the risk. Wang Bo commanded firmly. Get out of my way, he asserted with his intent. The baby spiders, fearful, quickly retreated, not daring to approach Wang Bo. Only then did Wang Bo respond. No need to risk it. Follow me. Wherever Wang Bo went, the spiders made way, astonishing Zhang Sheng. These spiders are giving way. What's going on? Wang Bo, I didn't expect you to be so influential. I am not mistaken. That largest spider is calling your name. Wang Bo nodded in affirmation. She has always been waiting for me. He then addressed the spider. I'm here. Where are you? If you dare to play tricks on me. I'll tear you apart immediately. Ha ha. 
Now that you've entered my territory, dare use this tome with me. Once I give the order, all my people will charge forward together, and you'll surely die. Have you clarified the situation now? What are you saying? You should be the one who understands the situation clearly. I've already killed three zombie kings. It won't be easy for you to retreat before me. Zhang Sheng stood to the side with a bewildered expression. His mind somewhat sluggish. What's going on? Is Wang Bo arguing with the zombie king? Now everything I see has shattered my previous understanding. Ha ha. Quite the boldness, indeed. Bring that girl out here. As several baby spiders approached carrying a bundle, Wang Bo hurriedly said, Zhang Sheng, quickly see if she's your sister. Zhang Sheng rushed forward, tearing apart the spider webs, and upon seeing the familiar face, he joyously exclaimed, It's my sister, she's still alive. Wake up, sis, listen to me. Seeing Zhang Sheng's lack of reaction, Wang Bo's face darkened as he shouted, Hey, what have you done to her? It wasn't me. When I found her, she was already like this. Wang Bo noticed Zhang Sheng's foot, infected and swollen from lack of timely bandaging. Oh no, looks like it's getting worse. Zhang Sheng urged, Wang Bo, let's quickly return to the base. Zhang Sheng, don't rush, give your sister these beans to eat. Zhang Sheng nodded, taking the beans and feeding them to his sister. Zhang Sheng quickly recovered. But due to the severity of her injuries, she didn't regain consciousness immediately. Zhang Sheng exclaimed in amazement, Whoa! What is this miraculous substance? Her complexion has improved. This is a rare elixir. Zhang Sheng, you and your sister go ahead. I want to talk to her. Take this backpack with you. It contains guns and provisions. Is that all right? If we're going together, then we must go together. You, truly useless, aren't you? This zombie king clearly won't let me leave. You staying here won't help me. But it's too dangerous here. Wang Bo shouted at the Spire Queen. Your Majesty, let the two of them go. I'll stay behind. Fine as long as I have you. That's enough, the Spider Queen replied. Got it? Hurry up and take Zhang Shen away. And you, be careful and come back alive. Impatiently, Wang Bo waved his hand. Just go. Stop wasting time. As Zhang Sheng walked out of the stadium, Wang Bo turned to the Spider Queen and asked, Are you satisfied now? It's just us left. The Spider Queen responded, Next, we should have our conversation slowly. What? Isn't there something we can talk about between us? It's not like if you die, then I die. Let's not be so extreme. We can choose a different approach to mutual benefit. Come near, into my stomach. We'll talk slowly. Wang Bo felt repulsed into your stomach. Your hospitality is quite bizarre. The Spider Queen impatiently retorted, Do as I say, you have no choice. Wang Bo felt frustrated. It seems I have to listen to it first now. Let's see what trick it's planning. Wang Bo stepped onto the tongue, which immediately lifted him and carried him into the mouth. Inside, Wang Bo stared at the Spider Queen. Speak, what do you want? The Spider Deity responded, Although you are now within my stomach, you need not fear. I have no desire to harm you. While it may be unnecessary as we traverse this path, I believe maintaining a distance would be prudent. So many skeletons, it seems you've devoured an entire city. Let's not beat around the bush. Speak your mind openly, it's refreshing. Therefore, I shall no longer conceal my intentions. I feel that with our combined powers, we can indeed cooperate. But how shall we cooperate? I am human. You are a zombie, inherently at odds, with conflicting agendas. Ha ha, how amusing. You are nothing more than a zombie inhabiting a human corpse. Regardless of how you phrase it, you are still a flesh-eating monster. Whereas I have never consumed human flesh, we are different. I am akin to Sun Wukong in Journey to the West, inherently benevolent, but always protecting Tang Sang along the journey. When faced with demons intent on devouring Tang Sang, I would strike them down with my staff. Yet you are clearly a spider demon seeking to consume Tang Sang. This is the distinction between us, do you understand? Ha 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 ha, your analogy isn't bad, but there's one critical flaw. What if the person you're protecting isn't Tang Sang, but rather a group of worthless individuals? How would you like to see how I would treat humans and zombies in such a scenario? I'm not sure since when, but the spider deity appeared behind Wang Bo. He exclaimed in horror, Motherfuck. The closeness just amplifies her aura. 
It's overwhelming. What did you say about humans and zombies? Weren't you once a human before turning into a zombie? If you disdain humans like that, aren't you also disregarding your own past? Ha ha ha. I'm different from other zombies. I willingly chose to become one. What? You say I willingly chose? Did you actively infect yourself with the virus? The spider deity sat down slowly and said, Have you ever heard of that corporation? Before this, I was the lead scientist in the company's research department. The head scientist? You see. So why would I voluntarily infect myself? Upon hearing the term corporation, Wang Bo thought of the company again. John Shang had previously said, It's because I researched zombies for a long time that I discovered they are more powerful beings. I used the convenience of my research position to find a way to become the zombie king, which led to what I am today. Doesn't the company always research vaccines? Wouldn't they also research viruses? You're so naive. Vaccine research is just a cover, because, for now, there's no known way to kill the virus. The company still conducts experiments on living bodies, but they all fail. The spider deity continued. This viral organism organization only needs to infect humans to rapidly alter human genes unless the virus's host is killed. Otherwise, there's basically no other way to kill the virus. After a long period of experimentation, the top echelons of the company decided to change the direction of the experiments. If we can't kill the virus, then let's study the virus so humans can learn to control it, control the zombies. And as the lead scientist, this task naturally falls under my responsibility. I've researched a large number of zombies, gaining valuable information from them. Zombies are only interested in humans, and the virus is no different. But there's only one species of creature that, when combined with the virus, becomes a stronger organism, and that's the spider. Their genetic makeup can enhance the virus. Under our research, a new strain of zombie creature has emerged, the spider zombie. They gather the virus from spider zombies, then use live subjects for experimentation. The discovery revealed not only did the virus strengthen humans, but it also mitigated side effects that drove humans insane. It was unexpected to successfully research a substance capable of granting humans the strength of zombies in such a short time, with no adverse effects, and without harming human cells. This discovery could stand at the pinnacle of all humanity, perhaps altering the fate of humans being slaughtered by zombies. At that time, I reported this discovery to higher authorities. However, the top management decided to terminate the research on this substance, fearing it would turn humans into creatures akin to zombies. I couldn't bear to let my research go to waste. If they wanted me to abandon the possibility of human evolution, I'd rather forsake being human. I swiftly obtained the most potent mutated virus from previous research before the company prepared to discard all research findings. At that moment, the Spider Queen entered the laboratory. Injecting spider venom into her own body, her hands began to mutate, and the soldiers immediately rushed in, shouting, Hands up, can you hear me? If you don't no cooperate, we will open fire. With a hiss, sharp legs sprouted behind the spider queen, terrifying the soldiers who then opened fire simultaneously. The spider queen, with her red eyes, turned around and laughed. Then, screams of agony echoed from the laboratory. You've been possessed by madness forsaking humanity to become a flesh-eating monster. In this era, only those who adapt can survive. Even this moral code eludes you. The human form is no longer suited for the apocalypse.